hope some people find this video interesting. The HVA system is complicated at first until you understand it. I still don't fully understand it. I did not go to HVAC two years of college, one for residential, one for commercial. I basically had to learn on the job and I'm still not there. But I kind of understand a lot of it and I can get a lot done even by myself before I have to call a technician. This is a condensate line. Sometimes you find a gravity fed, you might use a gallow gun with a CO2 cartridge to push the crud out. You might have to fill it up with water, put a vacuum outside where the line goes outside and try to suck the crap out. <laughs> um, but this one actually pushes the water through a tube to the attic and then outside the roof. And then that goes down a piece of PVC. When we first started, we only had PVC on the outside. Now we have to put PVC in the attic because the squirrels know where the water's at and they chew up the lines and they cause damage. Sheetrock breaks, all kinds of stuff. Um, must have seen them do it 30 times. <laughs> the bills they create uh, with the stuff they do in the attics is uh, ridiculous. Just closing up the holes, taking out the insulation, pumping in new insulation. Uh, and we can't, we don't have very many deterrents unless we call a pest control. They can put cages up there and hopefully catch them and get them out. They're usually pretty good at that. Once in a while they have trouble. But we're not allowed to do that. We don't have a gaming license. Okay. Um, on the condensate line, if they chew it up, you can cut it and still use the pump to pump it into a, like a five gallon container or a larger bucket. But now you gotta remember to empty that thing. <laughs> And they get kind of heavy pretty fast. So it's not always the best idea, but that's what I did at first. And then I realized, you know what? The bathtub is right behind me. I can run it to the bathroom. That's what I did. One of the things you see in the video, me put pieces, three pieces of tape and the carpet outside the closet going to the bathroom. You should actually put like a drop cloth, fold it up, um, a carpet, area carpet, something like that, a small piece, a doormat uh, on there. That would be much better than just the three pieces of tape. Less chance, you know, anybody's gonna trip or something like that, okay? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, just ask. And this way, I can wait for the HVAC guy to come next day, next week, and the person can have the AC. Putting portables in the unit is not as good as actually running the AC. And this is an easier method than putting portables in. And this is the reason why I do it this way. I was suggested that I put fix the line in the attic, climb in the attic, and I didn't do it. I explained to the person that I didn't do it because the squirrels know where the line is at anyway, and they're gonna go for this. And she said, oh, interesting. She kind of agreed with me in the end and said, okay, that, that'll work. But she still doesn't like the line in the hallway. She's a very, I don't know, immaculate person sometimes about certain um, details. So I have to try to, you know, work with her. <laughs> Either way, we figured out it worked. The next day they came, they put a new line in PVC, we're good to go. But this is a temporary fix, and it can help you out in the long run, right? Especially for us maintenance personnel. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see that kind of sick line right there. Flexible line. Squirrels. Uh, notorious for causing us a lot of damage, causing the company a lot of money. And they'll eat that line in the attic when there is sufficient water, they can actually smell the water. And I was instructed to go in the attic and fix the line. Not going that route. Once I fix the line, the squirrel knows where the line is at already. He knows what's inside the line. All he's gonna do is chew it somewhere else. I've seen him do it several times down the line. This is the route I'm going. Basically, I'm running a new line, gonna tie into that. 3 8 flexible copper tubing. Put it in this line. Force it in the other one. Don't even need zip ties. It's that tight. And I'm going to run the line to the tub behind me. And that's basically it. So the uh, company gets here, runs a new line, and puts it in PVC. Like 3 quarter inch PVC. Okay? Pause the video until I get done and to show you the finished product. There you can see the line taped in the tub. Okay? How to put a piece of tape behind the door so you can open and close the door and you don't get a pinch where the hinges at. Okay? 
Very helpful. Four way area going to the bathroom. That's where we tied in to the line. You guys already saw the line on the floor. Go into the tub, take up. I mean, you could use a bucket, but this is better because you don't have to worry about emptying it, stuff like that. I definitely don't remember about on the door if you don't put that tape there. You will pinch that line and you could overflow the water in the pan. Pump won't work right. Now. 